Eva has a business idea. She makes jewelry and has decided to open a store where she will sell it. She also wants to run an online shop. In this film, we will treat Eva as an example to show you how to register your own business easily through the internet. You can now register your business on your own without even leaving home. Go to www.firma.gov.pl The first step is to decide how you will sign your application form. You can choose between a qualified certificate and an IPWEP trusted profile. If you choose one of those options, you must create an account in the central registration and information on business system. You may fill in the application form anonymously and then confirm it in the nearest commune office within seven days. Eva has decided that she will fill in the application form online and then confirm it in any commune office within seven days. Before you start filling in the application form, prepare all the necessary information on your business. If you need to stop filling in the application form, you can save it on a disk and later retrieve it in the same place. Eva decided to use the creator, which will take her step by step through all the stages of filling in the application form. Navigation in the creator is very easy. Use next and go back to move between the subsequent steps in the creator. Skip correct entries is used to skip the fields filled in properly and to move to the first empty field. All the time you can monitor the progress of your application. The first step concerns Eva's personal data. Eva fills in all data one after another. She verifies them and goes to the other step. Another step relates to identification data. Eva fills in the data prepared earlier. If you have tax identification number and national official business register, enter them. If you don't, check the field. Eva also confirms having made the declaration that she is not banned from running a business activity. In the next step, Eva enters her address. She starts by entering the postal code. Then, most of the data is completed automatically. She only adds the missing data. Eva's residence address and permanent address are the same, so she clicks yes. Now Eva starts describing her business. The business name must include the name and surname of the person setting up the business. Since Eva will work alone and she is not planning to employ anybody, she enters one in the first field and zero in the other. In another step, Eva specifies Polish classification of activities 2007 codes for her business. Using the code browser, she selects online retail sale as the predominant activity of her business. Select the code relevant for your activities. Additionally, Eva completes the application form with other forms of activity. She selects appropriate codes from the drop-down list. Then Eva enters her name and surname as the abbreviated business name. She also enters her contact details. Those fields are not required, but we suggest filling them in so that it is easy to contact you. Next, Eva uses the drop-down list to select items related to the main place of business and moves to another step. Here you can also enter information on an additional place of business. Eva is covered by the insurance provided by the National Health Fund, so she selects that item in the drop-down list, and then enters the business start date as the date when the obligation to pay contributions will arise. If you are insured with the Farmer Society Security Fund, the creator will allow you to enter additional information. In the next step, Eva must select the respective head of the tax office. When Eva enters the first letters of the town where she is going to pay taxes, the system suggests matching names. In the latter stage of filling in the application form, Eva must select a form of the natural person income taxation. In that part, you must decide on the form of taxation, which fits the type of your business. 
Remember that the selected form of taxation requires you to apply certain manner of tax settlement as specified in the application tax regulations. If you want to learn more, go to the site of the Ministry of Finance. Eva will keep the entire account records at home. She selects an appropriate item from the drop-down list. When you decide where to keep documentation, indicate the actual location of the records. Let's move on. Eva answers the questions in the other data section. If any of the options relate to your business, click yes. In the next step, Eva can give information on her bank account. That field is not required. It is, however, convenient to provide this information here because later the account will be used for the reimbursement of overpaid taxes. After clicking next, you can add information on granted powers of attorney. Since Eva has not granted any powers of attorney, she leaves the fields empty. The last step in filling in the application form is adding attachments. Eva does not need to add any files, so she goes to verify the application form. If the application form contains any errors, the system will inform about them. Now Eva must go to a commune office to complete the registration in the central registration and information on business. She can also print and save the filled in form on a disk. The mere sending of information will not result in any administrative actions. Congratulations! Together with Eva, you have successfully registered your business. Remember that submitting a central registration and information on business, CEIDG1, application, means that appropriate information is also sent to the Social Insurance Institution, the Central Statistical Office, and the head of the tax office. If you have any questions regarding the registration of a business, call the office 24-hour hotline at 801 055 088. Good luck!